For the first time in program history, UConn baseball able to grab a series against the top-ranked team in the country. We're joining the head coach Jim Penders. Coach, uh, a real tough one yesterday, 14 to two. But you had that your guy on the mound today, Nick Krauth, who last Sunday was able to stop the bleeding, and then today was able to get you guys off to a good start when the bats didn't get going right away. He's just he's got really good stuff. But it, it, what's the most impressive thing about him is his poise. And then after we put up a couple runs, it looked like he had a different gear. You know. He, smelled some blood in the water and had that one two three inning um his stuff got even sharper um that's a winner right there you know i, I really like watching him work he's, he's a lot of fun there's a certain calm he, he has a um kind of a surgeon's mentality too knows exactly how to pick apart the zone i mean knows knows what he's doing with it and uh i like watching him compete you know after that long inning where, where we you know almost batted around we were concerned about him going i mean he was cruising but it's a long inning of sitting, you know, and so he got through that one, and then the next inning it looked like he just didn't have his, his legs quite underneath him. And we had a lot – thanks to Leaf Bigelow yesterday, we had some guys that we could use today that we felt really good about, and um, and they did a really good – all the pitchers did a really good job. I mean, Caleb had a little blip right there, but um, finished it out just fine. How about the offense? The two-out RBIs were huge for you guys today. I think seven of our first eight runs scored via – two out RBIs so um, those cover up a lot of sins but it's you know stick to itiveness I mean Reggie start I think our first run was you know with two quick outs and then Reggie gets hit in the foot and you know gets a second base steals a bag and then uh, boom 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 you know I mean it's it, it can happen that fast in college baseball but uh, I like the way we competed I mean a lot of extra base hits again today um, found some gaps guys swung the bats um, you gotta do a little bit better job communicating in the outfield we made some mistakes um, with our infield play to our catching play uh, but overall you know really solid weekend you can win a series um, you know against one of the best teams in the country that's that's a good weekend anyway you slice it we've seen him in the fall and in the preseason but boy Reggie Crawford is just on another level as a freshman four for four today with three doubles what have you seen from him here these first six games of the dish and it's all different fields you know I mean they go away he can take you that way he can take you out of here that way I thought that way I thought he might have got, gotten one out of here and just just missed it um, just with the wind it kind of knocked it down but uh, he can turn on it I mean it, he's got a very advanced approach and he's not afraid of being the guy you know it's like hey let's start you know I remember with George Springer it was like well I put him in the eight hole let's not expect too much of him as a freshman and you know I think we left him down in the order for the first month month and a half you know today he's hitting in the four hole I mean it's like what are we doing he's, he's not phased by it I mean you know, let's just throw him in the four hole let's see what he can do and I don't think it matters where he's hitting he wants to be the guy he wants to be up there with runners in scoring position and uh, that's you either have that or you don't and thankfully he has it and um, you know he's uh, he's another guy it's a lot of fun you know you can kind of you take him from first base and on the mound and he's loosey-goosey and um, you know he let it rip today that was kind of cool to see that you know we could do that and we want to we're trying to learn some things you know I, we want to win the games but we're trying to learn some things too we learned something about Andrew Marrero he can he can be an eighth inning guy um, you know I thought Kenny did a sensational job Randy got his couple guys that he had to get uh, just a really good effort up and down you know from the pitchers today and it all starts with a quality start from Nick Krauth um, that was a you know that's a great recipe when you get a, a quality start thank you coach thanks Chris